welcome back to Wendy's Colouring and today I am doing the Faves 2024 tag that um, Colour with Kate tagged me in and Do the Robot has also tagged me in. I'm very bad, I haven't done it until now because I don't have any favourites. This is going to be the world's most boring video. Sorry in advance. Uh, but yeah, this tag was created by Jazzy Doodle Designs. I'll tag her below. Thank you very much for inventing this so we can do some videos with it. Um, yeah, I thought I'd... Uh, I did start a while ago in this book. Big Book of Bookmarks by Ellie Marks. So I thought I'd attempt to do a little bit more. Although I suspect I will get hardly anything done. Because thinking about answering questions means... My brain does not work properly. It's not exactly firing on all cylinders already today. So, yeah, I'm going to do a little bit more on that. I am using my Derwent Chromaflows, my 150 set, although I don't expect to use a huge amount to do these little um, flowers. I'm just going to try and figure out what on earth I used, because helpfully... I've not written it down um, so we're gonna have to just make it up as we go along because I'm an idiot like that mm, that will do I think possibly a bit of red and I'll have my white German drawing handy as well do I want anything else I might want to light up that orange it? we might pull those out so, yeah, mm, don't crown flow. Yes, they are going to do loose stock, finally. <laughs> what a palaver. Anyway, that's something entirely different. I'm half wondering whether I'm going to take this out, actually, because the spine is getting on my nerves. So maybe I will. Let's open it up and get her out of here. So, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'll give it a go, but, yeah, I, some of them I was a bit like, well, some of them I don't have an answer for. That that's where where I am. But we'll go through it. You can see a little bit about me, I suppose. Although I don't think I'm particularly an interesting person. I'm at that point in my life where I want a quiet life. I don't really want some excitement or you know, just want a bit of peace. Excuse me while I'm just opening these. Okay, so favorite Prismacolor. Well, if I'm honest, I don't use Prismacolor a huge amount. They're not my go-to pencil here in the UK because they aren't so easy to get loose stock in this country. You can get them from a few different uh, very small uh, websites um, here in the UK, Prismacolors, but you can't go to a shop and buy any loose stock. There is no shop in the UK that you can walk in, bricks and mortar, and buy a Prisma. There's no shop you can walk in and buy a tin of Prismas here in the UK. I think it's something to do with licensing when Beryl broke, you know, divided as a company and they've been sold off to different people. So they're not my favourite for that reason, really, that every time I use them, I kind of think, oh, I'm going to run out of this and then it's going to be a pain to get them. But as you can see in my Derwent pencil case, I do have a few Prismas that I kind of feel are missing a little bit out of this Derwent set. I do like these pinks. I know it's a bit of a naff thing to say, but it is the reality. I do miss these. So PC929, which is pink, and PC993, which is hot pink. I do like both of these. There isn't really one of this shade of colour in my Chroma Flows. I think it's a bit more unusual. So I do like these um, in particular. I've missed them out of this set. Uh, but I, you know, I wouldn't say I was a great pink lover, but I have missed them um, from using those ones. But I do also like, I have just fished them out just so I could think about it as I was going through. I do like kind of, lilacs and that kind of colour palette as well and so I do particularly like lilac, I see I have to look what they're called, lilac, lavender, I think they're probably the old ones aren't they? I do quite like parma violet but Prism of Colour do have a great colour palette don't you? If you were trying to add a colour to this palette you'd really struggle, you've pretty much got 
maybe a little bit in the greens. I always like more greens. I'm selfish for greens. <laughs> but yeah, like I say, they're not my go-to as a coloured pencil um, for various reasons. I think that's why Derwent have started making these, isn't it? To try and compete a little bit. Uh, but yeah, probably the pinks. I do like the pinks. If I'm doing a flower, generally I do go pink. I've gone orange for a change on this one. Uh, so yeah, favourite naughty snack? Oh, chocolate. <laughs> it's, it's an easy win, that, for me. Yeah, Chocolate every time. I like crisps, things like that. Do you call them that in America? I don't know. I don't think you do, do you? Chips, do you call them chips in America? But yeah, if I've got to, chocolate. Chocolate is chocolate, yeah. I like dairy milk. But if it's chocolate, I'll eat it. <laughs> it's bad. I do like it. It'd be the one thing that I'd struggle to give up. If someone said, oh, you can't have any more crisps ever again, I'd be like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it, it wouldn't bother me too much. But chocolate, oh, I'd struggle with that. I would really struggle with it. Uh, Favourite pastime outside of colouring? Um, I don't know, because I do spend a lot of time in this room. We don't watch a huge amount of television, my husband and I. He likes gaming. <laughs> he has an office next to mine up here, upstairs. Um, so we're kind of together and apart, if you kind of see what I mean. Um, but, yeah, I suppose walking the dog is my other big time um, thing that we do. You know, I do look forward to being off. We can go for a longer walks and go to more interesting places and uh, just go out um yeah get a bit of fresh air i think it does you does you good to get out and get some air doesn't it and move your body a bit and yeah just gives you time to think in a different way i think going for a, a walk and you know the dog's quite entertaining she's a bit silly um a bit like her mum who was also a bit silly uh, so yeah i suppose going out for a walk with the dog I, I do like spending time with my dog she's a sweetheart uh, we've done all the daft classes and all of that not that she's very well behaved she's she's okay but she has her moments like like all dogs but yeah i enjoy spending time with her i enjoy going for a walk with her i quite like feeding her is that quite bizarre i quite enjoy watching her eat her dinner <laughs> Yeah, she went through a phase of she didn't she didn't eat. She didn't, oh, I'm not eating this. I'm not eating that. Have you got anything else? I'm not eating this. So yeah, now, now we've actually got her in a good routine and she eats her meals straight away. Like a normal dog. That's also quite rewarding. I've gone off on a tangent, but you get my gist. See, I'm doing no colouring. I'm just talking. I didn't think I'd be able to do any while I was talking. Um. So yeah, favourite Disney character? Not a clue. I think I've mentioned this before, really, but like... When we were kids, Disney was expensive. You had to go to the pictures to um, go and watch a Disney movie. And my parents were in a position where we could go to the pictures. Uh, we just didn't do it. So um, they weren't very often on television in the UK. So, yeah, most of the, the older Disney movies and films, yeah, I haven't seen them. <laughs> As an adult, I still haven't seen them. I kind of kind of think the concept of it has missed me by really like I'm really I don't know them I'm not really that fussed about them I have got a few Disney books I've got the big French ones you know the stained glass ones I've got those and they are lovely but I have to keep going to my husband who's this I don't know who this is what colour are they oh, <laughs> tell me what they're called then I can look them up and see what they're supposed to look like because I, I just don't know so I, I can't honestly say I've got a favourite Disney character because I just don't know them I, d I don't know no idea I don't have one I think is the honest answer to that I don't know them well enough to have a favourite I haven't watched them enough to for it to be that thing in my head um, yeah I mean I know now in the UK you can get Disney Plus and we did have it for a while but um, I don't have any children so we have no real excuse for it to have Disney Plus and my husband obviously watched the Star Wars things on there um but yeah, once he'd watched all the ones of those and it kind of goes off being on offer, doesn't it? So we were like, what are we actually keeping this for? Because, like I say, we don't watch much television between us, so we're still out of the loop even now. I'm not bothered. I'm happy being out of the loop. Anyway, what is your favourite season of the year and something that you only do that season? Um, well, <laughs> I think I do prefer spring. 
I think I enjoy seeing plants and things starting to blossom and you kind of feel like new life is started don't you and obviously I'm going for a dog walk so you see it every day you see that kind of environment changing um, and there are quite a lot of woods and kind of nature walks near where I live like there, there's a trail behind my house here so I do enjoy seeing that seasonal change and things starting to go a bit more green and um, yeah just seeing birds about a bit more listening to a bit of bird song as you're shouting at the dog as you walk on by um, but I'm not sure it's something I do only at that time of the season you're always looking when you're out walking aren't you I think it's just part of the process um, but yeah I suppose I do particularly like so I'm going to have to sharpen this pencil which is noisy and annoying look there she is she's on my sharpener <laughs> I printed that as a test sticker ages ago and I was like what, what am I doing with this so it got stuck on, stuck on there yesterday don't know why <laughs> she's a monster um, I forgot totally what I was on about yeah oh something you do only during that season <laughs> I don't know I don't think I have something that I only do in a particular season. I'm not that kind of person, really. I think maybe it's because I'm getting on in age. But, yeah, time just seems to go so quickly now. Um, yeah, I don't think I'd limit myself to I only do it in that season. I don't have kind of, like, things that I particularly only do then or... This is what I mean. I'm too boring to do these questions. Sorry, I don't have it. <laughs> Moving on. What's your favourite drink? Alcohol? No alcohol. Special or daily? Um, well, I always have a cup of tea first thing in the morning. That is a daily routine. I cannot start my day without a brew. I do love a cup of tea for my breakfast. Yeah, that is undoubtedly... Um, um, I have a decaf though. I don't have anything caffeinated. Uh, I find caffeine really affects me. So yeah, I stopped having anything caffeinated quite a while ago now. And I've not really missed it. Um, yeah, yeah I, but yeah, just a, a cup of tea. First thing in the morning is my starting habit. Then... Throughout the day then, I tend to have a cordial really for most of the day. I don't drink a great deal of kind of fizzy pop. Do you call it soda in the States? I'm not sure. Um, if we do have anything that's fizzy, we are decaf, no sugar <laughs> in this house. So yeah, I, I, I buy my husband. Caffeine free, Diet Coke. <laughs> If I take a, a can of it into school, I don't often have it because I, I still find even supposedly decaffeinated drinks like that, I still find they, they still affect me, so I don't drink them very often. But if, if I take one into school and the kids happen to see it, they're like, what? what is that? It's got nothing in it. <laughs> Suits me fine. <laughs> but favourite drink? Yeah, like I say, I have a cordial. I don't. Do you have cordials in the States again? I don't, I don't really know. Um, I like a Vinto. It's a good northern English drink. It's kind of like a um, a fruity drink. Kind of raspberries, blackberries, that kind of thing. It's those, anyway. But, yeah, quite often I just take water into school when I'm at work. Generally I have water on my desk. I do have some of Vimto Cordial there as well. But, yeah, most, most days I just, after my couple of brews in the morning, I'm on either water or simple cordial or something like that. I only really have a fizzy drink as a treat. <laughs> How strange I know, but yeah, I, d I don't mind it. I just, but they're not all that, and I don't really drink alcohol very often. It's only for a special event, really, and then I, I could take it or leave it. Even then, quite often I end up being the driver because I've not drank anything. Doesn't bother me. Um, yeah, I'm not that fussed about alcohol either. What is my favourite quote? Well, that's easy because I don't have one. <laughs> I can never remember anything like that. I don't have a memory for um, remembering quotes or know, knowing who said it. Or I, I struggle nowadays to <laughs> remember names in the classroom, let alone uh, quotes. If you ask me about <laughs> names in classes I taught 30 years ago, 
Those I could tell you, no problem. I can picture them. I can remember all their names. It's entirely useless to me now. But yeah, as I've got older, learning, keeping things in my brain long term, I found much, much more difficult. Um, so yeah, quotes. I don't have a favourite. I don't even remember one. I couldn't tell you one now if I really had to think of one. I don't, I just, I, yeah, it's not me. It's not for me. Nope. Favourite colouring style? Mmm... Well, detail, simple, colour by numbers, cute, horror are the examples. Certainly, colour by number is a, uh, I don't, I don't do it. Very, very rare do I do a colour by number. I've bought that Disney colour by number book, just one of them. One will be enough for me. I started one, I got about 10 minutes in and I'm like, no. <laughs> it seems very bossy and it's quite complicated. I, I do love a bit of colour and being bossed about by colour by numbers. I'm just going to break the rules. Plus, I don't like to just colour one thing in one colour anyway, so that's definitely not for me. Um, detailed, I think, depends on the image. Like, I don't like an overly detailed page purely because I have time constraints, I think is the issue with that. I, I like a detailed page. I find them uh, appealing in that I like the look of it but I just don't have the time to focus on all of the little details. Um, so I do tend to avoid a detail page. So I, it depends. It's a balance, I think, for me. If, if I look at it and think, well, it's got detailed areas, but I think I've got the time to do those, then I will still um, <clears throat> have a go at it. But in the main, somewhere in between detailed and just kind of normal level i do certainly like cute and i do like um whimsical i suppose if it's green then i'm probably in you know foresty woody um lush looking those things definitely appeal with a bit of cute chucked in that's always appealing i don't think i sit in a particular category though really um, I do do some portraits, those obviously completely different from any of that that I've just described um, and sometimes I really do love doing a portrait so yeah a little bit of both of those things really I think is the honest answer I, uh, something's got to appeal about it, I mean this again falls into neither of those things a little bit of flower, I do like sometimes just to sit and do a little bit of flowers like this it's I'm not going to say it's mindless because you do have to think about where, what you're doing and where you're layering and all of that but yeah I do quite enjoy just a little bit of flower work as well I don't know again do I have a favourite I'm not sure I do I'm not much of a favourites person really I think I, I change my mind quite often Favourite book genre? Easy peasy. Colouring book. <laughs> no, I quite like a murder mystery of any type um, as well. If I'm reading, it tends to be some kind of solve who did it kind of book. Um, I'm not bothered how grisly the murder is. I'm not too good on the sight of blood, so, you know. Uh, same for TV, actually, as well. If I'm watching something on the telly, it's probably going to be some kind of murder. It can be silly or it can be serious. But yeah, I think it's more the solving than the murder for me, if you, say, if you know what I mean. Not really interested in the gruesome section of it. I'm more curious into solving the problem of how we get to who did it. That's more interesting to me, I think. But yeah, after colouring, definitely murder <laughs> and anything like that. Uh, for a movie, one you can watch over and over again. Um, again, we're back to... Mm, didn't really go and watch very many movies when I was younger. Um, I do love a Christmas movie. Undoubtedly, Home Alone, I've watched many, many times. Still love it. Every year, we'll watch it again. I'm not so fussed with the newer ones, with the unknown kid in it. Never watch those. But yeah, Home Alone 1 and 2, the New York one, I don't mind that either. I will always watch those. And a couple of other really good Christmas movies. I do love those. I can watch those over and over again. But obviously only once a year, because that's fair enough, isn't it? 
Um, movies I've watched. I suppose growing up, I did go to see Back to the Future for showing my age now. And I did have the Back to the Future sticker book. And again, if I notice that's popped up on the television, I can't resist watching a bit of that as well. Is it for the memories? Probably it is, isn't it? But yeah, that does remind me of a particular time and I watch it again and again. But again, yeah, I don't, I'm not really a great movie. I find movies a little, I'm a bit boring nowadays, really. Uh, again, maybe it's my age, but too much effects, not a good enough story is my criticism of the modern movie makers, how we are at the moment. I like my, my husband watches lots of the Marvel movies and the superhero things and I just think, oh, I said, that's just not the same movie you watched last week. It's just some bloke in a costume fighting some other bloke in a costume. Where's the story? Where's the, where's the surprise? <laughs> it's boring. <laughs> This is just very critical video, isn't it? Sorry. Just weird, sorry. <laughs> uh, moving on. Favourite pizza topping? Um, depends where you are, I think. Uh, depends on the place you're getting them from. But yeah, I suppose I, my automatic go-to is pepperoni. And lots of mozzarella. But yeah, the more traditional Italian, the better for me. Um... But yeah, I do like pizza, but we don't do it again. We don't do it very often. Favourite song that moves you? No idea. Emotionally or physical? Don't know. I think music is very much, depends what your mood is. I like, again, a lot of 80s music. Because that's what I remember. But yeah, I don't think I have a favourite. I don't, I don't think I have, I don't have a favourite um, song. I don't even think I have a favourite artist. I think it depends what mood I'm in, what I like. Um, <laughs> I met my husband at university. He was on a music degree. Hence why music is a tricky thing to pick just one thing of. He plays the guitar. So anything with a guitar in is probably, probably somewhere along the sound that I like. Because it's a sound I'm very familiar with, I suppose. But I don't think I have a favourite track definitely not i don't there's no point pretending i do because i don't uh where am i on the list uh favorite scent uh that's a tricky one isn't it because i kind of associate scents with memory again i suppose um and one of the other things i do have quite a collection of apart from coloring books is perfumes i do seem to have built up a lot of perfumes I do tend to like fresher scents so lemony citrusy kind of clean smells I don't like anything too heavy um, but again because I have quite a few I don't think I could pick a favourite I quite like things with tonka bean in as well they're always quite they're not, they kind of, they have a depth to them that I quite enjoy. But again, I suppose that overall, so I don't think I have one that's particularly a fave, but something that's um, not too heavy, I think is what I would say. It's not very descriptive, is it? But, you know, hopefully that makes some sense. Uh, I've lost my place in the list again. Favourite... Uh, oh, favourite character in a movie. Oh, no. I can't even pick a movie, let alone a character in a movie. Uh, I don't know. I'm skipping it. I don't know. I don't have one. Harry Potter. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I've no idea. Skip. Favourite way to pamper yourself. Well, it's this, isn't it? <laughs> Let's be honest. If, I, if I've got a bit of, bit of free time, it's a luxury just to get this out and have a bit of free time and just lose your mind. Normally I've got something um, on the computer that I'm watching, normally a murder mystery if I'm really honest, whilst I'm colouring. Uh, lately I've been doing a little bit of diamond painting mixed in as well. Um, not so much this month but 
I have been over this year doing a little bit. But yeah, I would. I don't really um, do that much shopping or like I wouldn't. I, I don't think I've ever been to a spa day or anything like that. That's just yeah. It's not me. I'm afraid. <laughs> the thought of it, I find a bit. Ooh. No, I think you're either that kind of person or you're not, aren't you? I think I'm a bit quiet for those kind of environments. So yeah, just a bit of chill out time. Time where I'm not at work and can just do what you want in your own time. Not running your life by bells, which obviously as a teacher, we spend a lot of that. Must be here at that point. This needs to finish by this time. You need these things out by that point. I spend a lot of time organising being somewhere by a particular time. So yeah, I suppose my favourite way to chill is just do what I like with no plan, no have to be somewhere by this time, no uh, doing what somebody else wants, I suppose, ultimately. Just, yeah, chilling out, doing my own thing in my own time when we want. Uh, and my husband's very much that way as well. He's not one for an agenda or a plan or a... He's never on time anywhere. I must admit that. <laughs> It drives me nuts at times. But yeah, I think that's probably our, our best way to chill. Just do what we want when we want. Favourite room in the house, easy peasy in here. <laughs> uh, like I say, my husband and I don't watch a huge amount of telly. We spend a lot of time upstairs. Um, we're kind of in the same room, but not in the same room, if that makes sense. But there, if there are doors, we can shut them. Like if I'm videoing, I shut the doors. Because obviously he doesn't want to listen to me witter on to myself. It's weird. <laughs> But yeah, undoubtedly, it's got to be my craft room, hasn't it, really? I like lots of other rooms. Like, sometimes I do like reading a book in the conservatory at the back. We have quite a lot of trees, and like I say, it's a bit of a country walk behind us. Um, so it's quite peaceful in there. But in the main, if I've got to chill out and just want to do my own thing, this is likely to be the room I'm in, in my craft room. It's tiny, it's got too much stuff in it. But it's got all the things I love doing in here. So here is where I am. Uh, Favourite fictional world? Oh, uh, well, I suppose I have read all the Harry Potter books and I do kind of like it. The way she writes, it, she really puts you in those places. You can kind of vividly see them, can't you, in your imagination. And I suppose a lot of those places kind of do really appeal to me. So I suppose if I had to pick a room, I, I kind of would take uh, the magical realm <laughs> of Harry Potter and the crookedy houses and, yeah, I might be able to find a mushroom house somewhere like that, man, I see. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'd probably pick the fictional world. We'll go Harry Potter's world. Uh, takeout delivery. Favourite takeout delivery? Probably the most often delivery we have is pizza. Um, we are not particularly brand specific, but yeah, we don't buy take up take out very often. It, I think it's dear take out, uh, but yeah, probably pizza would be our favorite. Well, my favorite. My husband would probably have other choices, but tough because I won't eat them because I'm very picky with food. Um, favorite flower. Um, ooh. That's a tricky question. I quite like lots of different flowers, actually. Again, they're seasonal, aren't they? So, yeah, it's always lovely to see a bit of daffodils and crocus, bluebells. Uh, I love seeing the bluebells come up when you're walking um, at that time of the year. I suppose if you're talking flowers that you'd buy for your house, I always like a bright coloured um, bouquet. Like, I don't just want kind of one shade of pink or something like that. I like it to be quite bright and vivid. <laughs> um, so, yeah, something that's... Anything, I'm not really particular about a particular flower. I kind of... I like the look of a lily. I think they look lovely in the house, but their stamens drive me daft in the house because inevitably you get it on something, don't you? And it stains something chronic so yeah i think they're beautiful i love the look of them i suppose i should just cut them off shouldn't i as soon as we get them in that's the answer um 
Ooh, it's starting to get very windy again outside. Isn't summer great in the UK? <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to hear it or not, but yes, it is. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to say uh, lily. But I quite like any of those kind of flowers. Iris, I think they're beautiful as well. I quite like a lot of flowers, really. I'm hard to pick just one. Favourite place to wander can be indoors or outdoors. Uh, undoubtedly my favourite place to wander because we don't live near the sea. But uh, I love a beach walk. A long, empty beach that you can walk for miles. That is my idea of heaven. Yeah, I think it's absolutely my most relaxing thing. I suppose because we live near a city. Um, like I say, there's quite a lot of green spaces where I am personally, but we, we are kind of 20 minutes from the city. So we are not near a beach and the beaches that we are near are not great. Um, but yeah, I do. Our favourite, my favourite place to go on holidays down to Devon or Cornwall. I love their beaches. But yeah, a lovely beach walk in the peace with the dog, me and the husband. Yeah, that's. That's one of my most favourite, most relaxing things to do. And I don't even mind if it's not like baking sunshine. If it's just, you know, a comfortable, cool breeze, that suits me fine. Um, not even too fussed about the weather, but yeah, a lovely beach walk. Definitely my favourite place to wander. Uh, favourite relationship advice. Oh, goodness. Well... This is a tricky one, isn't it? Because I think it is personal to, to you and the person you're with, really. Communication, obviously, crucially important. I think my husband's better communicator than me in that respect. Um, I tend to stew on things a bit more. I think it probably makes more sense just to spit it out and <laughs> get it said and discuss it and try and get past it. Um... I suppose the biggest thing that I see, obviously speaking to teenagers day in, day out, and their opinion of what a relationship is and how a relationship works, is that no relationship is perfect. Mr. Perfect is not out there, or Mrs. Perfect. They're not out there. That's not life, is it? Uh, and if that's what you think a relationship is, you're probably lining yourself up for... A not too happy life because no one's perfect are they they might look beautiful they might look stunning but they're gonna get older well maybe not in this age of injections but you know what I mean it's you have to give and take don't you it's you have to accept that some people think slightly differently to you that you're gonna approach a problem slightly differently to you um, and sometimes they're going to be a bit annoying. <laughs> I'm a bit annoying. Can't say for a second that I'm not. All my family would agree that I can be a bit annoying. Um, yeah, give and take. Toleration. Yeah, people, sometimes it's, you've got to be a bit tolerant, haven't you? And let things, let people do things in a way that you don't particularly think is the right way. The best way. <laughs> yeah, tolerance, communication. Um, having the same kind of perspectives on life, I think, is important as well. Like, about all the big things in life, my husband and I have pretty much got the same opinion. And I think that's quite important, that same kind of aspect to life. Having some things in common and some things different, I think is important. There's lots of things, isn't there, involved in a relationship. I don't think one relationship is comparable to another. What works for you is not going to work for somebody else. Yeah, it's hard work. I think that's what I would think about a relationship. For it to work long term, it's hard work. You've got to be tolerant. Give and take. And yeah, stick with it when the and it gets hard because it will <laughs> that's life isn't it uh favorite things you share with your significant other humor i think that's really important if you can't laugh now and again what can you do as you might know i do 
find laughing important. I like to see the silly side of things. Um, yeah, for me, that's quite important. So, yeah, for me, a good sense of humour that we share is important. Favourite thing to annoy your significant other with? My sense of humour. <laughs> Not knowing when to let something go, I think, would be my husband's uh, moan and probably the rest of my family's moan as well. When to give it a rest now, enough. I don't know when to stop. <laughs> it can be a bit annoying sometimes. I'm a bit annoying sometimes because <laughs> I don't know when to stop. But yeah, that's it, definitely. Favourite way to annoy him. Yeah. <laughs> He's quite, his idea of tidying things up is like, if you're tidying things up, you'll line things up. Like, obviously I'm not doing it well, because I'm not him. He'll line things up and I find that instantly annoying. <laughs> and we'll move things straight away if I see his, just, instead of putting things away, it will just line things up. I have to kind of mess it up. I'm annoying. Uh, Favourite indulgence can be anything that you fancy. Uh, oh, uh, I have no idea. I suppose if I'm going on holiday, I do like a really nice place to stay at. We don't go away every year. S some years we don't go away for a few years. But when we do go away, I do like a place with a really nice view. So you kind of, regardless of the weather, you've got a beautiful view. And I suppose that it's never cheap, is it, when you're going to do something like that? I'd rather not go away for five years and then go away to somewhere that I think is really stunning place to look look and see the view than just go go away somewhere that's you're looking at another caravan or you're looking at another back of a building or you know what I mean and it can be a bit of an indulgence can't it because these things can be expensive but like I say we don't go away every year we're not going away this year um but yeah then getting somewhere that's absolutely yeah, that I can just sit, drinking my cup of tea in the morning, looking at a stunning view. Yeah, that's my most favourite thing. If I won the lottery, I'd buy some amazing place that you can just look at the view. What's your favourite thing to do on my channel? Um, oh, I suppose the reason I have a channel is undoubtedly to share my finished colourings. I, yeah, I just love doing it, so I enjoy sharing the process of it how you got to that point, what materials I've used, hearing other people's opinions on it. So yeah, undoubtedly, um, finished colourings is my favourite video to do. And I think if I didn't do much with the channel, I think that would be the one thing that would still, hopefully, still be a bit of a constant to um, still do my, fi my finished colourings. I do love sharing a book haul as well. I do enjoy a book haul, looking through books. It is, again, it's part of the hobby for me, isn't it? It's I do enjoy new illustrations, looking at new illustration styles, seeing how the books come together. I love sharing pages in books. So, yeah, I think ultimately sharing pages in books, whether I've coloured it or whether it's just a new stack, I love both of those things. And it's the reason I have a channel. I think those are petals as well, aren't they? I'm just looking at them. I was thinking I'd finish, but I've not, because there's two more. And I don't like what I've done on that. I'm going to rub it out in a minute. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know if that's helped you to know a little bit about me or not. Mostly I'm boring and just like colouring. <laughs> I think that's where I am. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. If you've got this far, goodness knows how long this video is probably too long for me waffling on but thank you very much for watching uh if you're watching this and you've not been tagged to do this video i am tagging you to do this video i think most of the people i speak to have already done this video so i'm just tagging whoever wants to do it feel free if you've got a channel do it do it do it do it thank you very much for watching uh, hopefully i've not bored you to death see you on the next one Bye bye